I'm Nathaniel Jordan, creator of the Stained Glass Stories YouTube channel. As I've been recovering from the novel coronavirus, I've had a lot of time to contemplate what I would consider the top 10 greatest shoegaze albums. Now, this video will be more opinionated than most of my other videos, and I will be revealing my own personal tastes in music. However, I don't consider myself some sort of judge who determines what makes great music, so this video is more of a fun exercise than it is some sort of definitive statement. Also, I haven't heard every shoegaze album out there, so maybe a year or two from now, I'll want to create an updated list. And one last thing before we begin, I also want to note that I tried to distinguish between shoegaze and dream pop, so records like this, this, and this will not be appearing in the video. All right, let's begin. Christmas Day. Starting off the list is Blonder Tongue Audio Baton by Swirlies. If My Bloody Valentine and Pixies were to create a collaborative album with lo-fi production, it would sound something like Blonder Tongue Audio Baton. This record takes the noisy components of shoegaze music and pushes it to the extreme. Making use of vintage equipment at Q Division Studios, the sound palette in this record is embellished with all sorts of otherworldly noises. Swirlies really has a knack for creating a raw, dissonant, and occasionally quirky atmosphere, setting them apart from more melodic groups like Pale Saints and Slow Dive. While Swirlies never takes themselves too seriously, the tracks on the record are ambitious and entertaining. At number 9, we have Split by Lush. While Blonder Tongue Audio Baton highlighted the noisy components of shoegaze music, Split is far more melodic and lush. No pun intended. Originally mocked upon its release, Split has since received praise for its heavy introspection and emotional lyricism. When listening to this record, I could feel this haunting vibe throughout. Invoking themes such as childhood trauma, death, and betrayal, there's a certain bravery in Mickey and Emma's exploration of these more serious topics. The melodies crafted are clever and sometimes angsty, while the two longer tracks Desire Lines and Never Never have a cinematic buildup that blossoms into majestic beauty. I think in Split we really hear Lush at their creative apex. In Ribbons by Pale Saints takes the number 8 spot on the list. What I think Pale Saints excels in is creating rhythms and unexpected shifts in tempo, bending both time and sound. The guitar textures are beautifully clear and melodic. One can tell the attentiveness to detail the bandmates had while recording this record. In my Pale Saints documentary video, which you should go check out by the way, I praised In Ribbons for its quote, ability to employ a diverse sound palette while not sounding jumbled or overblown. Throughout the album, one can hear cellos, synthesizers, and even a glockenspiel really adding a whole new dimension to the songs. While some albums that appear on this list are far more lo-fi, this record is quite the opposite. The production and engineering on this record is like that of a flawless diamond. It's professional, clear, and gorgeous. Perhaps the most experimental entry on this list, Zuvatin by Love's Lies Crushing floats in at number 7. I can see some fans of shoegaze being turned away from this record due to its lack of rhythm. Zuvatin is all about the unique textures created by Scott paired with the beautiful lullaby vocals of Melissa. It's the kind of music you would want to listen to if you want to forget about the world and feel like you're flowing through outer space. Each song is like floating into a new galaxy with its own unique set of stars and planets. Sprinkled between the longer tracks are fragmented interludes that are pure noise. It is one of the most intense and mesmerizing listens I've ever heard. As the earliest recorded album to appear on this list, one could say that the number 6 album came out of nowhere. 
Nowhere by Ride is one of the most important and influential albums to be released in the shoegaze genre. The album is fantastically lush with jangly guitars, harmonizing vocals, and trancy drums. There is a certain elegance to the production of Nowhere, and it amazes me that the bandmates were mere teenagers when it was recorded. The otherworldly guitar interplay between Mark Gardner and Andy Bell creates a surreal atmosphere that picks up where bands like The Birds and The Stone Roses left off. Nowhere is a haunting and monumental achievement in the shoegaze genre. Emerging into the fifth spot on the list is Ceres and Calypso in The Deep Time. As part of the second wave of shoegaze acts that appeared in the late 2000s and early 2010s, Candy Claus tells the story of a seal-like creature and her human friend going through a series of adventures roughly 100 million years ago. It's one of the most creative and unique records I've ever heard, and its heavily dense instrumentation makes you feel like you're being blasted back to the Mesozoic era. Though it's unquestionably a shoegaze record, Candy Claws is able to pull in a wide variety of other influences, whether it be the Latin guitars in Fallen Tree Bridge or the waltzy sound in Shrade. There's nothing that sounds quite like it, and I admire how it helped bring shoegaze into the 21st century. While Ceres and Calypso in the Deep Time took place at the beginning of time, this next entry, which takes the number 5 spot, explores the end of time. Death Consciousness by Have a Nice Life is quite a huge project recorded over the span of 5 years and nearing an hour and a half in length. Recorded through a laptop microphone on a budget of less than $1,000, Have a Nice Life thought death consciousness would fade into obscurity. Quite the opposite happened though, as the apocalyptic and nihilistic themes resonated with 4chan doomers living through the Great Recession, and a cult following was subsequently formed. Fanbase aside, what I enjoy about this record is the beauty it creates through its fusion of shoegaze with drone and post-rock music. The way this record builds to its world-ending climax is one of the most emotionally intense listening experiences that one will ever hear. <music> Teleporting straight from the 31st century into the number 3 spot on this list is Velocity Design Comfort by Sweet Trip. This record is a fragmented masterpiece, a practice of organizing chaos. It's like the album equivalent of taking a bunch of magazine cuttings and gluing them into a new hole. This record colorfully creates a futuristic sound in mixing shoegaze with glitch pop and IDM. Though it received little attention upon its release nearly 20 years ago, Velocity Design Comfort has aged like wine. On paper, this album may sound like a hot mess, as I think that there is a risk for a project like this to be too overstimulating to a point where it's numbing. However, through the crafting of infectious melodies and attentiveness to little details, Sweet Trip is able to pull off an experimental masterpiece. At number 2, we have the studio album that packs an emotional punch that feels like a dagger. Suvlaki by Slow Dive is one of those albums that was initially scolded by the press, but has since garnered considerable acclaim in retrospect. Coming to fruition during a time which bandmates Neil Halstead and Rachel Goswell had broken up, one can feel the beautiful sadness in the expertly crafted melodies in every song. While on paper such a record may sound too emo or redundant, Suvlaki is perhaps just as notable for its innovation as it is for its melancholia. <music> Working with legend Brian Eno, Slowdive managed to weave shoegaze with ambient music and occasionally space rock. The thick atmospheres created and the slow builds to songs like When the Sun Hits and Suvlaki Space Station make this record a beautifully melancholic masterpiece. Like 
you all saw this coming. Part of me wanted to be a contrarian and pick something totally different, but at the end of the day, Loveless by My Bloody Valentine is justified in the praise it receives. I think we all know the story on how Kevin Shields and company created the greatest shoegaze record of all time and then bounced for 22 years after. The sonic innovation and tremolo guitar work by Shields completely reinvented the guitar. Loveless wastes no time blowing the listener out of this planet as the opening track only shallow immediately submerges you in glorious noise and distortion. Over the past three decades, we've seen the impact Loveless has had on alternative rock music, and the record sounds just as fresh and exhilarating as it did in 91. It truly is the quintessential shoegaze album. I would love to see in the comments your own top 10 lists. If I see any albums I have never listened to before, I will definitely give them a listen. Thank you everybody who watched the video. Please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell if you would like to see more shoegaze content. It really helps this channel out a lot. Have a great day and keep listening to great shoegaze music.